Hello, Council Bluffs Area Chamber of Commerce members. This is Drew Camp, President and CEO of the Council Bluffs Area Chamber of Commerce, here from one of our candidate interviews with Dave Smith, a candidate for the Pottawatomie County Board of Supervisors. Dave, thanks for joining us today. Well, hey, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Drew. And jumping right into the questions, the first question I want to ask you is pretty broad, but it's what are you what do you see as the top issues for Pottawatomie County and how will you address them if elected? Well, my top issues are, uh, I think we've got transportation issues, infrastructure transportation issues that need to be addressed. Um, I think we'd have a uh, balancing taxation system that needs to be addressed. And we also, uh, we're just on the cusp of getting this I-80, I-29 work done. So. I hope that's a great opportunity for us to address getting uh, some more commercial industrial opportunities here in the greater Council Bluffs, Pottawatomie County area. Yeah, you certainly mentioned a couple of things that are very big opportunities, especially with the sheer amount of federal and then trickling through the state um, money coming in on that infrastructure front. Right. And then looking at the state side, so obviously the county supervisors, they ever sometimes, you know, they are beholden to things that pass the state legislature and state laws. So what do you see as the biggest state issue and how, how would you address that or advocate for or against it if elected? Well, I think our biggest obstacle is, is probably just working more with corporate tax opportunities. Um, Iowa's business tax climate last year, 2021, we went from 45th in the nation to 40th. So there was some improvement. A lot of that was involved with uh, some allowances going from 100,000 up to a million that met the, met the, meets the federal levels of allowances for business and corporate. So that one there, uh, you know, enhanced those opportunities uh, for business climate. So again, we can grow local mom and pop businesses as well as supporting, you know, you get a big business in, you get a lot of supporting businesses that fill in the voids and, uh, you know, act as in intermediaries um, or liaisons for those bigger companies. And then looking at opportunities for the county, we mentioned some of those funding opportunities that are trickling down from the federal into the state government, but what do you see as the biggest opportunity for the county going forward? Three things, agriculture, agriculture is kind of on that uptick right now. I think making sure that that stays balanced in the uh, you know global industry that it's become. I think the secondary is our, we have a huge transportation opportunity here, not just with our rail, but our uh, you know interstate infrastructure. And our uh, third one is our people, the people of Pottawatomie County in general, uh, specifically, they're hard work a bunch of folks. and. Um, you know, we don't have a low unemployment just because people are uh, looking for something to do. We got people that are hard working in this county, and I think we need to sell that better. And looking at working with the business community, you've mentioned some things with corporate and some of the business opportunities as well. Um, how would you work with or propose, or how do you think you would best work with the chamber and the business community to move Pottawatomie County forward? I think I'm fairly well connected with a lot of the businesses. I've, I, I've been here since 1989. I started out with what was People's Natural Gas, uh, expanded my role there to be a statewide role with them. Um, so I was in that corporate sector for a number of years, left that and I've been involved with our uh, a local, a local ministry that we've developed over the last 23 years. So I'm uh, fairly well connected with the businesses and uh, what we have going here and what we have just also in the social services networks. Uh, throughout the community to help support families and children as they are, uh, you know, when they're not at work, because uh, there's a lot of issues, especially as you see this inflation bubble continue to grow, uh, people are struggling. So being able to come alongside those folks and sit across the table from them and, and help them work. And probably the third thing is, uh, you know, understand, helping people to understand that the tax uh assessment system and the tax levy system because not everybody does and and it's a uh, it's a balancing act that needs to be done that uh helps helps get the work done in in the community but also uh you know relieves the people from supporting that burden sometimes i can certainly identify with that having done some work in economic development you do a lot of explaining of tax systems and tax benefits and assistance and stuff and such and it's a complex um 
realm in which to play. So I can appreciate that. And it changes um, every year. Yeah. We actually had some very big ones in a positive way this year in this legislative session that we were signed in the law beginning of March. Yeah. So as you look at yourself and as a candidate, what unique skills do you think you would bring to the position if elected? So I think I got a broad base of, uh, well, coming from a corporate atmosphere, and then uh, we've been involved with uh, social services atmosphere with working with family and children throughout the county. And uh, the last 15 years I've been involved uh, with, in the private sector. We own a, uh, you know, we're a developer. I'm, I'm a partner with a, another developer and we're developing a subdivision out in Underwood and looking at other opportunities in the county that would uh, you know, provide affordable housing and or uh, you know, multiple, leaning towards a little, you know, we're all getting a little older and we could uh, certainly use not just some assisted living places, but just some you know, opportunities for families that don't need their big houses when their killed, kids have left the nest to allow them to downsize and still have a comfortable place to live. Well, thank you for touching on that because that's a big issue right now. Housing is a big issue getting talked about not only here in CB proper, but also out in the county because everyone has a role to play, as you noted. And then you've touched on some of these pieces, but I always like to give uh, individuals and candidates an opportunity to really bring it home if they have other things that they want to say about themselves as a candidate. So why should voters cast a ballot for you uh, in the June 7th primary? Broad base of experience. I'm a proud husband, father, grandfather. So if uh, I think I've been involved with enough of the atmosphere of the county and the community in the last 33 years that I've lived in Council Bus, or actually I live just outside of Council Bus in Crescent, but I, uh, I have a pretty good network of support that is uh, throughout the county. And we've, we've, I, I like to say I'm a, a, a faith-based achiever. Uh, I believe that uh, some of the opportunities that were presented to us that we chose to do uh, have not just benefited us, but they've benefited the entire community or the entire county. And uh, I like to believe that, you know, we're, we're linked in with uh, opportunities that we believe were presented to us and we took the, took the risk, but, uh, you know, certainly have enjoyed the uh, rewards with the friendships and the relationships and developing reciprocal relationships. That's a big one of ours and, you know, me personally. I love reciprocal relationships where you work with people and everybody gets lifted up, uh, not just a few. So I, I love I, I loved that about what I do, uh, helping other people rise up from you know maybe where they're at and situations they're in. So those are probably the, some of the key things. Well, Dave, thank you very much for joining us uh, for the candidate interview. It was nice getting a chance to talk with you a little bit and we'll look forward to continuing to work with you and best of luck heading into the June 7th primary. Appreciate your time and uh, thanks for this opportunity. I'm uh, excited about it and I hope to uh, see you soon. Thank you again.